All right, guys, what's going on? We're here. We're live. Welcome to a live stream. We haven't done this in a while. We're watching some 200, 400 deep stack PLO running right now on PokerStars. I'm going to be uploading this to YouTube, and I'll be uploading a highlight version of this to YouTube. And and yeah, let's uh, let's get in the action. We have we have a couple of well-known players playing right now. We have the very legendary Hollywood Ike Haxton, a.k.a. Phil Ivy, 2694 in the games right now. We have the legendary Victor Blum, a.k.a. Isildur, in the games right now. We have the man, the myth, the unknown legend, Barry Sweet, in the games right now. We have D to the MFI, the, the heads-up beast, who... who I, don't, I don't know how much 6-max he plays. He plays 6-max. It feels like he plays 6-max. Um, not as often. I think he prefers heads up, but when the stakes get this high, it seems like he's probably going to be more inclined to want to want to get in the action. Is that right? That might have been right. And uh, Rafael Amit. I don't know much about Rafael. I know he's been playing in the games uh, high stakes PLO off and on for a uh, a bunch of years. I remember playing with him a little bit back in the day. And uh, yeah, so that's the lineup for right now. We obviously have one empty seat at all three tables, so we might get another player sitting down. So if you guys, uh, I've been twitching a lot more lately for, what the hell is my hair? I've been twitching a lot more lately because, I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm trying to get the Eastly Pillow shirt in, but we can't, we can't like, we can't see the Eastly Pillow shirt we got on today, and that's okay. But we did a Twitch stream yesterday. I was playing, uh, we might, literally might be ended. This might be it if it's a leave, so, or if the games might, the games are probably gonna quit, but uh, we did a stream yesterday where I think that's it. The games are in over. Well, that was perfect timing by me. Yeah, we did a stream yesterday. I was playing uh, 1020 and 1530 on America's Card Room with, I actually showed my whole cards for the first time, I think, ever. And uh, we did end up somehow making $12,000 where on a, it's been a very, very good last day. I, uh, you know, it's interesting. The only time I feel like I'll ever, I'll ever have a 35K 24 hour time period is if I lose 50,000 the in three days before that, unfortunately. So, I'll never make, I'll basically never m let myself make 35,000 in a 24 hour time period unless I lose that amount or more the week or the two days or three days before that. So it's, uh, it's, a, mental, it's a mental leak that I need to get a mental game coach for. Let's get into the action. Uh, let's hope these games keep going here. Isler does have some short stacks. He's got 6,000 in the top left table and 19,000 in the bottom left table. So he is uh, looking pretty short right now. Um, looks like uh, we got to check high stakes database to see who the current winners are in the games. I'm not sure. Obviously, Barry Sweet has uh, some bigger stacks. I know he's been playing for a, a longer time period, so there's a chance he could be he could be down money. So you never know. We'll see. Uh, guys in the chat, what's going on? I see a lot of great people out there today. A lot of the hardcores that have been tuning in for all the podcast. Thank you as always. Uh, let's check out this hand. Is Elder raised? See what he goes with preflop. So he's going with a 3x strategy instead of potting preflop, it looks like. He 3x is ace, king, king, queen. Uh, Barry Sweet defends a queen nine. Let's see his hand he actually had. So Barry Sweet defending queen nine, eight, three. And I, you could, you'll you be able to see that the trend uh, the trend in the games these days is, well, that's it. That's it. This is like, I'm going to put this up on YouTube. It's going to be like a very big cock tease. And uh, that's it. That's that, that it? Is it over? It's over. Well, well, that's it. <laughs> this is very anticlimactic, peoples. What's up, Backman? What up, Pingy? What up, Omnicide? What's going on, guys? I got this hand. See what happened here? Uh, Ivy Potts, King, Queen, Queen, Four. Hollywood Haxton does. Uh, Barry Sweet defends on the button with, uh, with Kings. Flop goes check, check, turn, Ivy bets, pot, Barry Sweet calls, River goes, Ivy bets, I can't call him Ivy, his name's Hollywood fucking Haxton, Jesus, I uh, bets, he bet like 30 something percent, and Barry Sweet calls, so it's an interesting hand, so, so Flop goes check, check, and Barry Sweet checks back, King High flush draw, backdoor quad draw, uh, backdoor straight draw, backdoor trip draw, backdoor crippled two pair, and and Ike pots the turn with King Queen Queen Four on the five. 
Barry obviously calls. He turns a gut shot. He still probably has the best hand. River's a seven, which I like Ivy sizing there on the river. He bet a little un, a little over, I think, a 30-ish, 30, 35% pot, somewhere around that nature. And I think Barry's has a standard call here, but I think Ivy, I can't call him. I, I mean, for fuck's sakes, it just says Phil Ivy, and I want to call him Hollywood Axton, but I know it's not Hollywood Axton. So... I like his sizing on the river, and Barry calls. Barry takes it down, twenty-two thousand dollars pot his way, and uh, that's gonna be it. That's gonna be it. We'll see. C six C six says, "Hey Joe, I didn't know you finally showed your whole cards yesterday. I'll definitely have to check it out." Well, unfortunately, you will not check it out because it's not anywhere, and and I don't know how often I'll do that. Probably never, but but yeah, if you did get to tune in to watch that, it was a it was a long hour session, and uh, we do well. So I'm assuming his lure is going to sit out here in top left. Oh, he's still going to play. So he's going to, he's going to, he's still going to play here. I guess I'm not sure why. He's got ten big blinds. This might be just the shortest version. Maybe these ten minute videos might be a good idea. Uh, Rafi raises under the gun. isler has got a pot size bet left. He defends from the big blind. And Rafi bets half pot. Isler folds like a bitch. And then Rafi sits out like a bitch. So now we're now into a shootout format. Who will win this tournament? We shall see what happens. What's up, Jepsek Puppy? What up, WPN? What up, Sniper? All right, all in in a call. Isildur is going to take down the first run. Second run needs to avoid a king and makes a backdoor full house. So he doubles up. Isildur's still alive in the tournament. He still has a little bit over 10 big blinds left. A perfect stack size. Like we might have another all in. So there's got aces, eight, nine. He wins the first one, second one. He needs to avoid a, a 10. No, I guess not. Double, doubles up again. Let's go, Isildur. I mean, who are we rooting for here? I'm not even sure. I guess we're rooting for Hollywood Axton. He's our guy. Friend of the podcast, guest of the podcast. I like all these guys, though. D to them and Thai. I like him, too. Isildur, obviously. Legend of the game. He raises pre-flop. That's 2,400. That's a little bigger here on the flop. Who will win this tournament? What else we got in the chat? Pingy, what up, Pingy? Podcast run good. On the side. My buddy Jordan. Marco, puppy. Zygmunt D. Is Odson not good enough to play these games anymore? That's a good question. That's a question for Odd Odson. He might be set for life. You never know. You know, his BPIP has been known to be through the roof, so he might be set for life. He might be playing live games. He might be hanging out with his MILF. I don't, you know, you got to ask Godson what, what exactly he's up to. Uh, Lee Jam 97, Rational Duck, Grizzly Bear. What up, guys? What's going on, Papi? Papi, Mama Chula, let's party. How you doing, Papi? What up, Ivan? What's up, buddy? Nice to see you. If anyone asks who Phil Ivy 2694 is, I'm going to give you a timeout because it's on the screen and you need to use your deductive reasoning slash awareness slash slash um yeah uh, echo says podcast run came back for yourself grass on the 12th yesterday we actually had a big day i played a session later on last night ended up making a little bit over no a little bit under ten thousand again on a different site and we had a very strong day yesterday we're still chasing our downswing Still got about 13,000 left to recover from the downswing. And once we do that, we'll be back peaking. And once you're peaking, you know how it feels. I'm sure you've watched Elky stream. When you're peaking, it's a great feeling. So Badger says, Badger, there's a guy on here with your same screen name. Uh, it's a Zygmunt with more eyes. So I get confused. Uh, is it the three bets here? Pre-flop flops. Ace, queen, eight. Pots the flop. All in. He flops a flush drop. And makes a full house on the first one, second one. He chops it with D2. Nice hand. Pretty normal hand. Is there three bets? 10, 7, 8, 6. D2 defends, flops top pair, backdoor flush draw, backdoor straight draw. Is there flops all kind of backdoor draws, backdoor full house draw, um, backdoor Mexican full house? Yeah, he popped up backdoor, backdoor Mexican full house and actually made it on the first one.
So this tournament, we'll see how long this tournament lasts here. Can Isildur survive? He still has a little under 50 big blinds left right now. Ivan says, puppy, want to go to EDC Mexico? No joke. Listen, I am not going to EDC Mexico. You're going to get no shots at, you're going to get kidnapped. And I, I, it seems like a risky proposition, Ivan. I know you're probably bringing your white wife, who you showed me a picture of on Twitter yesterday, or the other day, to provide a receipt that you were actually a American citizen, which obviously there was an allegation made against you in a live poker game in Borgata that you were not an American citizen. So I'm happy that you posted a receipt of proof that you are, in fact, an American citizen. So congratulations on that. Thank you. Thank you for being in the country legally, as some people might say. I, I guess I don't personally mind, but I know people out there definitely mind a lot about immigration issues and stuff like that. So, is there a raises pre flop? Uh, C bet's a bit, a bit bigger size on the mono, on the queen six four, all clubs flop, turn six, river eight. D2's got a little over a pot size bet left. I'm sure he's going to bet the river. Let's see what sizing he chooses here. Who checks? Is there a bets 5,600 and 6,800? This is an interesting line to take. Search telling you, are you going to Ultra Music Festival in Miami? Puppy! I actually might go. Uh, I might bring uh, my chess partner there to, to Ultra. I love Ultra. It's one of my favorite festivals in the world. I want to get the East Sleep. I need to put like an East Sleep PLO shirt like in the background or something like that, man. We got to show the East Sleep PLO shirt. Becky one two one one says, "My girlfriend says you're hot. Congrats, thank you, Becky. We got an all in. Isolder's gonna need eight. He's gonna need an eight. He's gonna need an eight, and he doubles up D two. I didn't even notice that. What happened here? D two limp raise, limp raise the uh, queens. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah, he limp queen queen five six with one suit. Limp raise pre flop with approximately is that GGO." with a little under 20 big blinds. Interesting. I like it. Nice hand. Gregor said, Hola, papi. Love watching you and learn from you. Have a wonderful day. Uh, Gregor, much love, papi. Much love. Thank you to you. Thank you for watching. Brave Dreamer, what up, kid? Badger says, I watched through the entire Fedor podcast. Good stuff. With the Kappa. If you're trolling, fuck you. If you're if you're being serious, thank you. Uh, Kevin Clarkson, aka Mr. Fuckboy, in the chat today. What's up, Kevin? Welcome to the chat. John says, going to the Chicago Poker Classic, puppy. Um, I'll probably play some of the cash games. I know there's some 10, 20, 25, 50 PLO that runs during the series, the circuit events, and the Poker Classic. So I will probably play. Uh, some of the high-stakes PLO that runs there. I don't think I'll play any tournaments. Uh, this might be it. Is there is pre-flop? Yeah, uneventful. Uneventful, man, uneventful. I might play another another session on stream today. I'm not sure. I don't think so, though. I don't think so. But I, I got to do a high. I'm gonna do a highlight show of yesterday. Some hands I played during the 15, 30, 10, 20 session. Uh, me and Jay Nandez played a bunch of hands together. And I think that I came out on top. He did win a, a, a small pot versus me at 25.50 when I played there because 25.50 is rigged on America's Card Room, of course, and not in my favor, but 10.20 and 15.30 are very much rigged in my favor. So I was able to get the, the better hand of him at those gigs. So it was a fun session. And yeah, why isn't Ike Haxton playing on his account? Uh, Ike Haxton resigned from Poker Stars. And at that point in time, PokerStars has reverted his screen name back to Phil Ivy 2694 He has been getting some action from the likes of Stickman and some of the other bum hunters who are unaware that he is Hollywood Haxton. And there were some shorthanded PLO games running with around, I guess there's pretty much around Hollywood Haxton that might not have ran had these people known that it was Hollywood Haxton playing on the Phil Ivy 2694 account. So... Um, Ivan says this might be a dumb question, so no plans, bans, please. But who is Rafael Amit? Uh, I'm not too sure exactly the specifics on who he is. I, I would estimate he is of Middle Eastern descent, essentially. It's a speculation. He looks Middle Eastern, correct? This young guy right here. 
Look at this guy. Look how GTO this guy looks. Bam. Here he is. Right here. Rafael Amit. This is who it is. That's it. So Isler's hanging around here, man. The kid's, the kid's preserving his tournament life very well right now. So Haxton pots the button here. D2, three bets the small blind. I don't know if we've seen uh, Hollywood pot the button yet with uh, the short stacks in the small and big blind. But he does call flops, ace, nine, eight, two diamonds. All in in a call. D2. You need some help. You need running cards. And he does not win. So Hollywood uh, pots, ace, five, qu ace, queen, five, jack. Maybe the dream machine just tells him to like mix up his actions because I don't feel like I don't think we've seen him. I don't think we've seen him uh, pop the button so far. So obviously it's been a very small amount of time so far, but that was interesting that he chose to do it with this hand. Uh, Joey, do you know Stickman is originally a top lemon Holden player? I don't think it matters. I mean, he's been around a very long time. He's one of the original bump hunters in the world. And I, I don't care if he's a top limit Holden player. If he was a top limit Holden player, I have no intentions of ever acknowledge, acknowledging his limit Holden ability. I will never think about him as a top limit Holden player at any point in time in his career. I will never think about him as a top poker player outside of the ability to game select very hard for years and years and years, never feel inclined to want to not game select very hard. And I will never think about him as, as a top anything. But thank you for letting me know. I appreciate that very much. My buddy Anfield's in the chat. What's up, Anfield puppy? Little papito, papi, coramosa, man. What's going on? Hope you're doing well. Hope the tournaments are going well. Hope school's going well. Oh, you actually, you stopped going to school. I hope the family business that you are working with right now is going well. My name ain't Earl. What's up, Earl? Welcome to the stream. Welcome, guys. Isildur takes down another pot, raises king, king, six, eight, preflop. Flops a, a unadulterated two pair. And checks it down. And that's that. Wins a small pot, still in the tournament, preserves his tournament life. X Mona says, hop in that game, play some hands. Okay, X Mona, you sit down in the seat next to D2. I will sit down in the seat. What position on you, my friend? Uh, Becky asks, will Isildur rebuy if Busto? We're, we're unsure. He quit. He did quit two other tables. So it's unclear if he will continue playing or not. We shall see. Let's make this bigger. Um, D2 lips a small blind. Is there pots? The big blind. Flops queen jack seven, two clubs. Is there pets 2K and a 3300? DT folds pretty quickly. Takes it down. Still in the tournament. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. I've been watching a bunch of uh, different YouTube videos lately of NBA 2K and, and NBA 2K. They, it seems like every single person in that community talks exactly the same. They all say the same exact things. They all, they all produce their videos the same exact way. It's sort of uh, interesting how, how ununique people are in terms of create, creation in that uh, genre of videos. Uh, we got a hand here. Isildur defends a small blind. And pots the eight six three two diamonds flop. Hollywood folds. D two's all in. Calls Isildur has a big hand. Wins the first run. Second run, he loses the second run. Chops it up. Marvelous man says I'm good at NBA two K. If anyone wants to play NBA two K uh, for my team or for something else on PS four, let me know. I mean, I play my, my team way too fucking much. I'm addicted to that game. Uh, Clayton Puppy says Isildur is playing 1K, 2K, 8 game. All right, let's find this game. Let's go find this 8 game. We're finding 8 game. We're trying to find 8 game. Oh, cool. We do got a little 1K, 2K, 8 game here. Maybe that's why Isolder reloaded. He wanted to play the uh, 1K, 2K, 8 game. 
All right, so now we're going to add in this eight game table right here. It looks like we got Isolder one in the lineup. We got Sauced, the man, the myth, the legend. We got crazy Elor, Elori, Elor, and uh, Alexander Kostrasson, aka Joiso, in this game. And then we have the uh, 200 400 PLO game here in the left hand table. Oh, man. How's everybody been doing in the chat? I see my buddy Jonah in the chat. What's up, Jonah Puppy? Jonah, I hope things are going well in Malta. Uh, I don't know if uh looks like you've been going through some potential situation on the girl grind. And I hope that goes well for you, my friend. Is older squeezes here pre-flop. Raphael meet folded a 2-3 bets now. I don't even know what's I mean, I guess he's in a weird spot here with Ike behind him full stack, so. Uh, flop 642 all hearts. Isler's got a little under pot size bet left. He pots. Ike flops a good hand. Backdoor full house draw. Nope. Oh, backdoor false chop draw. That's pretty depressing. Isler is Bobby Busto Blonde. Oh, he reloads. Actually, he's back in action. So he tops off. Isler squeezes ace queen jack six. Ike calls ace queen six five. Flops queen high. Queen high. A queen high flush. And blocks a lot of Isildur's backdoor full house draws, so he's got a backdoor chop draws, and he's in bad shape. Uh, next hand, Isildur three bets pre-flop, flops jack nine six, two hearts, pots the flop. Hollywood never misses a goddamn flop. He's all in. Isildur needs help, or needs to hold. He holds the first one, second one. Chop it up. Isildur, man with a mission. Eight five nine six three three bets pre flop Hollywood defends a seven seven five two hearts flops in a wrap with a seven nine flush draw all in all in run it twice chop it up nice hand nice hand Jonah says thanks for keeping me company at four a.m. while I was lost in the streets of Malta you're welcome Jonah it was a very fun time you get very drunk I don't know why you I don't know why you enjoy going around telling white people black people Italian people everyone in Malta basically to yell out poppy and send it to me on snapchat but I do appreciate that thank you for thinking about me while you were drunk 4 a.m in Malta hanging out with various people of different descent thank you very much I appreciate that Jonah it was fun it was fun to to live vicariously through you as you conquered Malta and attempted to gather every single belt in your collection in one night much love, Poppy. Top right, Isolder's in a pot. It's Omaha high, low hand. We don't know how to call these hands, so we're just going to wait till the river gets here. Um, let's see. Isolder flops, pair of sevens, eight high flush draw. Does he have a low? A five eight low. Is that, a, is that an actual low? I don't know this game. Isolder chops it up. Nice hand. Top left, pot's a small blind. Rafi calls a big blind, flops 10 6 4. Isolder C bets. Rafi calls, turns an eight. Not a good card for Isildur. He checks. Rafi bets. 5,600, 8,100. Isildur folds like a bitch. Take it down. Nice hand. Small blind versus big blind dynamics. Very, very fun in Potlum Noha these days. Much more fun to be the big blind, I got to say. A few different strategies going around in terms of how to play your small blinds. Some people are limping all their small blinds. Some are limping... And some are raising a certain range. Some people don't lift the small blind. They just raise or fold. Some people fold. I, there's a, there's a, some people do all three. There's definitely different strategies, different approaches. The, that dynamic that goes into small blind, big blind play right now is very fun. It's exciting. And, and it's something that I'm, I'm very much enjoying learning more about. Uh, turn is other two barrels, the ace. And Hollywood folds like a bitch. Nice hand. Take it down. Call, call, C bets, call. Looks like Isler's choosing a two thousand dollar C bet here into into th into three thousand. He's going to the two third uh, C bet strategy. I think you're going to see people vary their sizes on different board textures. It appears Isler is choosing the same size so far on all textures in single race pots, and I think you'll see a player like Hollywood Haxton chooses to vary his bet sizes depending on board texture and depending on positions of the players, and maybe even depending on player he's against. So you can obviously see the difference in strategies and approaches that Isildur and that Hollywood Haxton take to uh, playing Potlum Omaha. Uh, Isildur does leave the top left table, so it appears that this game might be breaking and we will be left with the eight-game table, which I have to say, yeah, he chooses to 
leave the PLO table to enter a new A game table. So it looks like our fun for the day might be over because there is no fucking way I want to rail this A game. Let's try to just call. Let's try to call some hands with a similar enthusiasm and passion for the game that we call Pot Limit Omaha, the great game, the great four card game, Meets Elite PLO Pot Limit Omaha. Let's try to give it a shot. See if we can do it. I just can't do it. I'm looking. I'm confused. Too fast. I don't know what's happening. Confused. I couldn't even. I definitely couldn't call two tables. Jesus. We got Raz. We got an ace. We got a jack. Isn't an ace an open? Aren't you supposed to open an ace and Raz? Is there ace is a high low low card? Ace is a good card, right? Oh, Joiso opened a four. Okay. I don't know. Ace is a good card, right? Allegedly, I think it is. Anybody know? Any chance of Isler on a podcast? I think the chances of getting Isler on a podcast are at least 37%. If you have zero, if you say zero, that means you have no faith in me, you have no faith in the podcast, and, and you need a, a quick temporary timeout. So the PLO action is done for the day. We're going to be left with two, two 1,000, 2,000 eight-game eight game sessions. And, and I got to tell you guys, Not very interested in streaming this. I think I'm going to go to the gym and play basketball instead because that seems uh, that seems much, much more fun than watching a game where I have no idea what's happening. So guys, thanks for tuning in. That was a short session. It was a, it was a, it was a fun 30 minute brief session. I'll be uploading this to YouTube to give people a, a short look into the exciting world of high six PLO. And that's it. Much love, guys. Be back. Um, be back soon. I'll be streaming some action of PLO. Uh, they'll show whole cards, cover whole cards. I don't know. I'll do something, man. I'll do something. Not sure exactly what. A couple podcasts coming up here soon. We're going to have Anna Kate, who I've done my first, I did my first three way female podcast with with her and ebony kenny and i'm gonna be having her on the podcast she's gonna be on survivor next season the season premiere is the 17th of february which i will be attending the premiere party in new jersey with her and another cast member named michelle I'm gonna be doing a podcast with her and be doing some other podcasts coming up here soon and uh that's it much love adios guys see you soon uh take care you enjoyed